I was a battalion task force command sergeant major in the 101st Airborne Division. We were deployed to uh, regional command east in Afghanistan. So it's on the eastern side of Afghanistan. The province that my battalion task force was responsible for is called Nangarhar province and most of it borders Pakistan to include a place called Torkham Gate which is actually part of the Khyber Pass. But one of the districts in Nangarhar province is called Chapahar and one day the battalion commander and I went down there to visit with the district sub-governor and just to talk about how things are going in his district. Now, Chapahar was a fairly dangerous place. It was, you know, there were places in Nangarhar province that we could go pretty easily and not really worry too much about coming in contact with the enemy. Chapahar was not one of those places. So we went down there and we had our meeting. They were having an agricultural development meeting at the district uh, headquarters right you know right as we were finishing up with the governor and he invited us to go sit in on that meeting now normally that's not something we would have done uh, because we didn't like to spend too much time in one place especially in, in a place called in places like Chapar because they you know that gave the enemy time to react to your presence there so we don't normally stay at stay stay very long um, and this, but, this, but this day we did, and the meeting went long. Uh, so meeting ended, and we loaded back up in our trucks, and we had a personal security detachment that was kind of in charge of, you know, securing us. Um, and we drove back towards our forward operating base. Just as we got to the edge of Chapahar, um, the colonel's truck was in front of mine and there was another truck in front of his. So I was the third of four trucks. And all of a sudden, I hear shooting. And my first reaction is to get a little mad, wondering who's screwing around with one of the machine guns on it, who, you know, who's doing all the shooting. Not initially realizing that we were getting shot at until I heard the bullets bouncing off my truck. But so I get a quick look in the rear view mirror and I see an RPG fly between my truck and the rear truck with Sergeant Benny. Uh, missed his truck, missed my truck. But now, you know, the machine gun fire is really picked up. And so immediately, you know, I get on the radio and call back to the Battalion Tactical Operations Center and, you know, tell them, hey, we've got troops in contact, this is where we are, and this is what's going on. So I'm directing the fire from my gunner from inside the truck. I'm talking to the Battalion Tactical Operations Center, and I'm also communicating with, on the radio with the colonel and the lead uh, vehicle to tell them what's going on because they're not in contact. They're not being shot at because they've passed through the, the kill zone and, and I was in it. Um, so, you know, in just a few seconds time, you know, I was able to bring aerial assets to bear, direct the fight from within my truck and direct the fight with the rest of the platoon that was there. And basically and got the patrol turned around and then counterattacked through the ambush and drove them off the field. So that, you know, they left, they decided they didn't want to fight us once they became decisively engaged with us. We had a significant overmatch at that point. It's important, you know, as a leader to understand, you know, what resources you have at your immediate disposal, you know, what resources you have that you can quickly bring to bear what you you know quickly understand a situation and then make the decision on what you're going to do. Now I didn't have to counterattack. I you know I could have chose to just push all the way through the ambush zone and and especially you know the, the battalion task force commander. You know if something would have happened to him it would have been tragic. But my decision understanding what my capabilities were and what the enemy's capabilities were was to counterattack and either kill him or make them not want to fight anymore. And, you know, but that's understanding the environment that you're operating in, and it's understanding your resources, and then the people that you have that you can use to bring that stuff to bear.